Learn from God to enlighten your soul. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Father cares, February 18th. Remember especially needy church members. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Galatians 6 verse 10 In a special sense, Christ has led upon his church the duty of caring for the needy among its own members. He suffers his poor to be in the borders of every church. They are always to be among us, and he places upon the members of the church a personal responsibility to care for them. As the members of a true family care for one another, ministering to the sick, supporting the weak, teaching the ignorant, training the inexperienced, so is the household of faith to care for its needy and helpless ones. It is the duty of each church to make careful, judicious arrangements for the care of its poor and sick. Any neglect on the part of those who claim to be the followers of Christ, a failure to relieve the necessities of a brother or a sister who is bearing the yoke of poverty and oppression, is registered in the books of heaven as shown to Christ in the person of his saints. What a reckoning the Lord will have with many, very many, who present the words of Christ to others, but fail to manifest tender sympathy and regard for a brother in the faith who is less fortunate and successful than themselves. A true Christian is the poor man's friend. He deals with his perplexed and unfortunate brother as one would deal with a delicate, tender, sensitive plant. God wants his workers to move among the sick and suffering as messengers of his love and mercy. He is looking upon us to see how we are treating one another, whether we are Christ-like in our dealing with all, high or low, rich or poor, free or bond. There is no question in regard to the Lord's poor. They are to be helped in every case where it will be for their benefit. Our Father cares, February 18th.